Uh, it's been a long journey, a quick journey. Everything has happened so fast, you know, if you, if you put down the time span from, you know, June 25th to now, you know, there's a lot of time in between, but so much stuff happened, and it was, you know, it was a tough night, you know, draft night, a disappointing night, but, I mean, everything happens for a reason, and just kept working from draft night on to this point to just keep getting better as, as, as a player, as a person, and, and just staying positive with everything that's happening. Did you get a sense, though, that you were going to get... I mean, at least some sort of opportunity on draft night, let alone this kind of opportunity you've gotten? I had no idea. I had no idea. You know, after after the draft, um, my agent called me right away and said, we, you know, we're going to move on from here. We got an invite to play summer league with Utah Jazz. So I was excited about that because at least somebody showed me some interest. Mm -hmm. um, went there, didn't play as well as I wanted to. Um, ended up going to Vegas for Sacramento, played a lot better. Uh, a couple weeks went by. We were looking at overseas stuff, you know. Utah Jazz called, said they want me in the vet camp. You know, it was a very, very, very slim chance, you know, of, mm -hmm. of being able to make it stick on the roster. But, you know, I've been always the type of player, type of personality and person where if I got a little window, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to kick it down. <laughs> and, uh, you know, God has blessed me, put me in this position, and uh, I'm just excited for it. So what, so what clicked, you know, it was about a little over a month ago that you started starting. What what do you think clicked between maybe you and, and the coaches, and what did you show them to, to get you into the lineup? I don't know. Just being me, you know, hustling every day in the gym on off days, you know, playing tough defense on whoever, you know, playing fearless, um, moving the ball on offense, making shots on offense, you know, attacking when it's my time, and, and just playing the game, really. Right. I say, Eddie, you had a rep as a defender, certainly in college. I mean, you came on as a scorer in your senior season, but... You know, did, did you have some faith that maybe Coach Sloan would see something in you because of that rep as a defender? And he seems to be a guy who I mean, loves guys like that. Coach Sloan is a tough, hard-nosed coach. You know, that's the type of player he was. That's the type of players that he wants. Right. And that's the type of player I've always been. You know, from a young age, I played older. Mm -hmm. And I played two years older than me. And all that. So, I, you know, just there, you have to play strong. You have to play tough. You have to play without fear. Right. And, uh... Yeah, defense has always been a part of me. You know, offense has always been a part of me, too. And, I mean, just, just going hard. You talk about, uh, I saw you talking to Eric Maynard out there a little bit. I mean, how are you two getting through the uh, the rookie season together and stuff like that? What's your relationship like? It's, it's, it's close. I mean, you would think that we knew each other for a long time when we first met in Orlando in Summer League. And, uh, you know, he's a great dude, great player. And, uh, he's, I mean, we just we just mesh and we click. And, you know, it's, it's nice to have something like that, you know, as, as a rookie. Talk about going from a new relationship to an old one. I mean, do you still keep in touch with those Marquette guys? It seemed, I mean, you were so, I think you guys are all kind of linked in, in their history of that program. Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah. I just talked to Dwight and Jarrell the other day. I've been trying to get in touch with Dominique. Um, still talk to, you know, the guys back home, Maurice Acker, Jimmy Butler, Lazar Hayward, still right. talk to Coach Buzz, you know, everybody. I mean, right. we're all connected, you know. One thing about Marquette is when you're in or out, it's family. 